So in this video, I'm going to install Linux KDE Neon with Plasma 6.1. So this version is unstable and it has bugs. I'm going to be installing this in a desktop computer. So I created a bootable USB drive and I'm going to boot up the desktop computer with the USB drive. I'm going to choose a USB drive to boot up from. So this is the welcome center and this is the installer. So this desktop wallpaper is not the default wallpaper. And I will download the new wallpaper after installation. And you can browse this, you can click next. And you can get some more information. So I'll click on the installer. So here you have to choose your language. I'm going to leave it as English. I'll click next. This is the location settings. This is region. This is zone. You can also drag this red dot to your region. I'm going to leave it as is. I'll click next. This is the keyboard layout and settings. So this is correct. I'll click next. So here you have to select your storage device. I only have one hard drive in the computer. So these are some of the options. If you have another operating system, you're going to see this install alongside. There's also replace the partition, erase this and manual partitioning. I'm going to erase the entire disk. There's an option here to encrypt the system. I'm going to leave it unchecked. So this is the bootloader location. And there are some options here. I'm going to leave it as default. I'll click next. I have to create an account here. I'm going to type John. I'll leave the computer name as is. I'm going to type the password. So it says you're logging automatically without asking for the password. I'm going to leave this unchecked. I'll click install. I'll close this. I'll click finish. Okay, so it's all done. I'll click done. So on the lower left side, there's virtual keyboard and there's desktop session. So there are two options, Plasma VLAN and Plasma X11. I'll leave it as Plasma VLAN and I'm going to log in. I'll close this. I'll click the application launcher. This is favorites. This is all applications. This is development. This is graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is office. This is settings. This is system. This is utilities. So I'm going to download the latest wallpaper. I'll right click the desktop. Select desktop on wallpaper. So these are the wallpapers that are built in. So I'm going to download the Reef wallpaper. I'll click on this link. This is the wallpaper. So I'm going to right click the wallpaper and I'm going to save the image. I'll right click the desktop. I'll select desktop on wallpaper. I'll select add. And I'm going to select the reef image. So this is the Reef wallpaper. So I'll click on the Settings app and I'll select Windows Management. I'll select Virtual Desktops. So I'm going to add four more Virtual Desktops. In the top right corner, I'm going to select Add Desktop. So now there are five desktops. I'll click Apply and it's here. I'll select Desktop Effects. 
I'll scroll down until I see Windows Management. So this is Windows Management. This is cubed. I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'll select the box. Click apply. So on the keyboard, I'm going to hold the Windows key and the C key. So this is the cube feature. I'll hit escape on the keyboard. So I'm going to run an update. So I'll open the console terminal. So I'm going to type pkcon update. I'll type y for yes. Type the password. So I'm going to right click the panel. I'm going to select show panel configuration. So this is how it shows. I'm going to click on position. So I'll move the panel to the left. I'll move the panel to the right. So I'll move the panel up. So I'll move it back to default place. So I can change the height of the panel here. I'll click on done. So on the lower right side, I'm going to click on the notifications icon. So there's notifications, Wayland to X11, Video Bridge, there's Vaults. I'll open System Settings. I'll open the Sound app. I'll click on Configure. And there are two options here. I'll click on Configure Volume Controls. So I'll right click the panel. I'll select Add Widgets. I'll drag the clock to the desktop. I'll remove the clock. I'll click on Exit Edit Mode. So I'm going to open the Kit app. I'll click about tape. I'll install GIMP. So I'll open system settings. So on the system settings, they are listed by categories, input and output, display and monitor, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspace, security and privacy, language and time, system. This is the Discover Software Center. These are the installed apps. So there are over 350 items. This is updates. This is system upgrade. I'll select update all. This is all applications. So there are over 4,000 items. This is accessibility, accessories. Developer tools, education, this is games, 
It says graphics, internet, multimedia, office, yes, science and engineering. I'm going to minimize this. This is a Dolphin file manager. So these are some of the new features and you can read about it. So this is what's new. You can access remote plasma desktops. And there's a video. Yes, customization made more visual. Persistent apps. Sync your keyboards, colored LEDs. So these are some of the features here also. So this is the operating system. The kernel version is 6.5. The desktop environment is Plasma 6.1.1. So there's a CPU and the GPU is an NVIDIA GeForce. So in this video, I installed KDE Neon with the Plasma version of 6.1. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.